Hello, Healers, and welcome to Soul Horoscope's Weekly Edition. My name is Christopher Witeke. How you doing, Virgo? Welcome back. And as we kick off, I want to share with you a vision I have for the future. I just came out of a career transit, basically. Got all my notes together. Working on the new garden, soulgarden.me. We are creating something very unique. As the internet becomes what it is becoming, which is very interesting with Twitter and Facebook and all these places where we are formally projecting ourselves, Soul Garden is aiming to be a little tiki hut. We're going to be like a little place where you can hang out, where you can be yourself, where you can post weird reincarnation dreams and no one is going to talk crap about you. And it's a privilege. Actually, we kick people out when they're not nice. Yeah, it's a private community. And it's there for you. It's there to support you. And I'd like to invite you down. So you'll see in this horoscope all the cool stuff we're doing. Come create a profile. We're trying to create all a place where all the most remarkable spiritual people live. One place you can go to for all the spiritual people. Where is it on the internet? Soulgarden.me. There's no place like Soul Garden, so come down. Now, that said, boot camp. Are you ready to rock? Now, you know, Virgos are wrapping up their manifestation transit in the next nine months. You are going to step into your ability to manifest or not. We call that light casting at Soul Garden. Light casting is the step before it manifests in reality. And this is a course where I will, in six weeks, put you in your power, walk you through the entire 12 steps of light casting reality. There's actually 12 steps, believe it or not, 13 really. Uh, and we give that away. You come with a goal. By the end, you should be well on your way to bring it into your life. And many of our students brought it in within the six weeks. So come down and check it out. It's the best way I can pass on what I know about reality. It's lightcastbootcamp.com. Now, where is the Virgo race? Getting on to your soul horoscope. Thank you for uh, indulging me. It's the only time I can give announcements these days. We are working on a new state of awareness, one that Virgos have been somewhat obsessed with, I have noticed, which are long-term relationships. Pisces energy is the way that Virgos get along with people. Here's the weird thing about Virgos. So particular and sticky and detail-oriented and stubborn about things that relate just to you. But when it comes to relationships, Virgos are so pliable. You are a Pisces state of awareness. Use the Pisces energy. And this comes down to the good old fashioned 12 states of awareness. We have 12 states of awareness that make up reality. One state, one part of our soul does nothing but constantly measure and weigh things. That's all it does. It's the part that notices you've been ripped off. It's the part that notices that guy talked too long. The balance measure, which is Libra. And on a grand scale, relationships. So this is your annual relationship transit, where you will look at the way you relate to yourself and the way you weigh and measure you against someone else. That balancing act, right, which is what makes someone good and dynamic at relationships, that is what you will be healing and working on intensely, not just this particular month, but with Neptune for a long time. So that said, as we start on Monday, the sun is one degree. We're literally starting up the transit, and the one degree asks yourself not about relationships, not about your school crush, but rather, do you love yourself? That's right. Chapter one really is about your mirage. How are you fair or not fair to yourself? All of the problems you have with people taking advantage of you or it not being a fair game or your first four husbands or whatever, it all is because of the way you treat yourself. We teach that in boot camp. It's the way you relate to yourself, and then the universe brings you something just like it. So in chapter one, in day one, can you feel the love? Do you take any time or attention to how you treat yourself? The way you talk to yourself? The way you show up for yourself or not show up for yourself? The way you draw boundaries for yourself? Are you a good husband or wife to you? It's called the Me Ridge, and chapter one is about that. 
Now on Monday, the moon is in Aquarius, so you are feeling hyper aware of your reality and your body, and you might be a little cranky on this day. It might be difficult to answer that question. And for those of you that I watch over in the Guardian Agency, I'll be sending out personal texts on Monday if you have a problem in your chart in Pisces. So only if there's a problem or there's a speed bump or something you need to know because of your chart in Pisces. So you might get with text on Monday, you might not, the P with texts. Uh, granted, if you don't, that's a good thing. Just means things will be simpler. Then on the Tuesday, it's Lightcast Day, the most powerful day of the month to manifest your intentions. Why? Because the sun and moon come together, the two first steps of light casting, our emotions and our capital state of awareness. So it's a day where you can really put out there to the universe your intention for relationship. And that's what I encourage you to do. No matter where relationships are, whether it's marriage, partners, business partners, uh, whatever, any long-term relationship situation, on Tuesday, go ahead and daydream, go ahead and fantasize, go ahead and surrender. Tell the universe with one big energetic footprint what you want for Christmas when it comes to a husband or wife, okay? And I'll be sure to remind you in GA. Then on Wednesday, exploring options. On Wednesday, Jupiter rules the day. Notice this stellium going on and look at this little guy. That is Chiron. Now it is my opinion as an astrologer that Chiron is the ruling planet of Virgo. Um, different astrologers, it's kind of out there. People all come up with their own opinion. We do know Chiron is the healing planet. We do know you are the healers, whatever. It seems obvious to me, but Chiron is in Pisces. What does that mean? That means the universe is sending first aid trucks and Swiss people to all Virgo relationships. <laughs> so you're going to have a lot of additional support and healing help. In other words, the universe is saying, I don't care what your relationships have been. If you want to make them healthy now, you've got God University's full endorsement. You got Chiron to heal it, and you got Neptune there for God to whisper in your ear the actual secret. Now, on Wednesday, you're exploring your options, which means if you're pissed at your boyfriend, explore your options. If you're pissed at yourself, explore your options. It's really about getting out there and figuring it out. Then, ha then comes Thursday. Thursday, Uranus rules a day. Should be kind of a tough day, honestly, breakdown. Probably a big reality uh, crunch. I find for Virgos, this is a toughie because often when you don't see it, you don't see it. That's because you tend to compound all the details going in the wrong direction. So when you're wrong, you're really wrong. But that's by design of your highly detailed nature. So the breakdowns in this one is a little tougher. Uh, it might be a bit of a slip. The moon will be moving on into Aries, but not before it makes you feel everything in relationships. So the first half of the day, you're very sensitive to whatever the breakdown or reality check is. The second half of the day, you get more sensitive. You become more vulnerable because the moon moving into Aries shifts into your boundaries and trust issues. And I'll be telling you in GA exactly. We'll send out the text exactly when the moon shifts and let you know when you're going to get vulnerable. So that's not fun. Now, I do have something as a little bit of a band-aid. We call it office hours. This is a new feature for our garden members. This is where our Soul Mart practitioners come on camera and do free five-minute readings. Free five-minute readings using this cool new technology we acquired where you have to come on webcam and we come on webcam. So if you don't have a webcam and your webcam doesn't have a mic, you can't get a free question. So sorry, get with the 2000s. But at the end of the day, we'll get up there, we'll answer your question, we'll point you in the right direction. I'm going to kick it off actually on Thursday, the first office hours I'll kick off. So if you want a free question from me, come on, come, come on down to soulgarden.me forward slash help. And this is where we'll do our office hours. And you, like I said, you have to have a webcam. You'll also meet Vicki Jenkins and Bernadette Morgan on Thursday. It's going to be fun. should be cool. And your question will be broadcast, so nothing too private. Okay. Then on Friday, it's fun to Friday. And boy, is it finally Friday. Friday lines up just when God University gives us some relief. Mercury rules the day on Friday. So whatever went wrong in, in your love story or in your whole connection, it will be clear as to why. Okay, Mercury will help you come to clarity on that. I don't believe Mercury has anything to do with the ruling planet of Virgo, but I do think Virgos like Mercury a lot because they like to think, they like to use that state of awareness. Now the moon will move into Aries, so if you weren't vulnerable yesterday, you sure are today. And the moon crosses Uranus, which means you'll have somewhat of a reality check with your emotions. So you might have an embarrassing truth come out, uh, realizing like, oh, with this is the relationship, so that means Oh my gosh, that means that's some sort of a boundary thing, and that's part two. But by the end of the day, you should feel a little better. Don't forget, on Fridays, we have some nice energy. It's called Soul Garden Live. That's her I'm on camera live with Carolyn Nagel and three practitioners from around the world. This is our like view from above with webcams and us gossiping and talking about what's going on and looking at the astrology of it. So it's cool radio 
or webcam radio, and it's recorded, so if you miss it, no worries. That's at soulgarden.me forward slash live. Then Saturday, it's Love Fest Day. Boy, the universe doesn't miss a beat, huh? This is the annual, monthly, excuse me, monthly love holiday that we do at Soul Garden. It's because the moon will be crossing over Venus. Now, when the moon crosses Venus, this is an ability to, or a possibility to restore emotional balance. So if you were wounded during the week with a relationship issue, Saturday is a healing. Uh, I can hear you Virgos right now. Does that mean I'll get to talk to him again on Saturday? Maybe you might heal by getting a chance to talk to them again, but you also might heal on your own because that's what mirages are about, that you're there for yourself first. <laughs> so I can feel that happening right now, but it's a day of self-healing. Venus rules a day. Emotional tranquility will come, and it's Love Fest Day. Uh, this is a day where you really are feeling the love if you want to. We always tell our gardeners to tell everyone you love that you love them on Love Fest Day. So you'll see us posting all over the place and whatnot. And for those of you that I watch over personally in the gardening agency, I have a little present for you on Saturday. I'll actually be doing my first phone call to you. That's right. The Guardian Agency will be sending a voice message. That's right, baby. A voice message right to your phone. This is pre-recorded, but it is from the heart. You'll hear. And you might want to send it to voicemail if you want it to be recorded. Okay? Otherwise, you'll have to get it live at a quiet place. So that's for me. Also, we're doing something else for people not in GA2. We're launching the Love Lounge on the Soul Garden. What is the Love Lounge? The Love Lounge is a place on Soul Garden you can go and you can be recharged on your love amp. That's loving yourself, loving others. It's, it's all designed to not be cheesy but effective. This is music videos at the top hosted by Soul Garden's Carolyn Nagel. So we have like our own music video channel. And at the bottom we have people in chat. Now that may sound lame, but it's us, you know, light workers. And I'm in here a lot too. And it's got cool technology and you can webcam in it's it's cool so come on down and hang out with us on love fest day if you got no one else to love on come love with us then on sunday 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 is really a god day sunday's a god day you're going to log into your higher self neptune's ruling the day that synergy energy you might get pulled into relationships on a spiritual level it's definitely a spiritual day in the sense of okay, why have I dated man after man after man after man who has abandoned me? What's the spiritual reason? We know the details in every relationship. What's the spiritual? What started this issue? So getting to the bottom of it, that means compassion for yourself. You have to be self-compassionate in order to do that, just so you know. You have to go in there not judging yourself. And the moon itself will be moving into Taurus, so that's an earth sign. No matter what, you'll be feeling less vulnerable and you'll be feeling more grounded emotionally because earth sign, earth sign, good. All right, virgins, that's all I have for this week. I will either see you in office hours or on SG Live, or I'll give you a call on Saturday, but I will see you, in, if nothing else, in seven days, right? Until then, live, love, be.